We've seen this movie before, folks, 19 years ago to be exact. Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt in What Women Want. It was received with a solid meh by audiences and critics alike. So that begs the question, why rehash it? Remarkably, despite my low expectations, I really enjoyed What Men Want. I thought Henson was great in the lead role, and the supporting cast was solid as well. But there's more to a good movie than a good cast. Truly good movies are born of well-written characters, and Henson's Ali Davis is a prime example of a character who rises above the premise of the movie. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. I have something I gotta say. Screenwriting starts with a what if, and in What Men Want, a simple premise, what if a woman could hear the innermost thoughts of men, gives rise to a really good character. Ali, a driven career woman in a male-dominated profession. Sweet new wheels. A little pre-celebration for the big day, huh? I'm making partner, baby. <clears throat> it fits the Groundhog Day formula. You take a character with a major flaw who's incapable of change, you give her a clear, relatable goal, introduce supporting characters who are affected in various ways by her flaw, and then you apply pressure to affect change and character growth. Holy crap, can you hear my inner thoughts? I can hear your inner thoughts! Oh, I'm screaming! Screenwriter Tina Gordon does a great job of building a relatable, likable character in Ali, through whose newfound gift not only do we see her character grow, but we also see her goal change with her priorities. It's a funny and heartwarming movie, and it's a good example of strong character development. Henson's comedic timing is pretty bang on, and the situations she finds herself in are often laugh out loud funny. James, I know you are not worthy of my friend Mari. What are you talking about? He slept with your cousin Gabby last May. That never happened. That never, never happened. I am so sorry, Mari. He said you were on a break. Everybody lying right now. And Josh Brenner steals almost every scene he appears in as Ali's personal assistant, Brandon Wallace. She gave me this tea. And you drank it? She said to. I thought black people stopped drinking tea after Get Out. It's not going to win any awards, but What Men Want is definitely worth a trip to the movies. You better I should tap that ass. Little lady, what you doing at the big boy's table, huh? Two grand. I'm bluffing these fools. I'm missing Real Housewives. Shaq finally has a winning hand. Why am I thinking in the third person? I smell toast. Am I having a stroke? Wait, I have toast in my pocket. Whew. You better be